What's up, gamers? Aqui me deixou que eu trazendo mais um vídeo pra vocês E hoje estou continuando a série, sim, série de The Cat Lady Vocês pediram, e sim, agora eu vou fazer uma série até o final do jogo Legendando e traduzindo tudo pro português pra vocês Pera, você não sabe do que eu tô falando? Você não viu esse jogo ainda? Não se preocupa que se você perdeu esse jogo que está aqui na descrição O primeiro episódio da série, beleza? Então se você não assistiu ainda, não sabe que jogo é esse Está aqui na descrição do vídeo, o primeiro vídeo da série Seguinte, esse é um game indie de horror Os gráficos realmente não são tudo aquilo, mas a história é muito foda Então é isso aí, espero que vocês gostem e vamos lá Beleza então galera, então foi mais ou menos aqui que a gente parou E é claro, como o jogo é de horror, eu vou jogar ele no escuro Seguindo a velhota. Eita porra. Yes, it's you, Susan. Come closer. Say hello. I don't want to look at it. Haven't I had enough yet? That body in the ambulance. Then the forest. But this place is. This is exactly what I was trying to run away from. I don't want to be here. Make it go away. I assumed it would be wise to give you a little taste of the suffering you'd endure. I want you to understand that you can keep going long after you count. Oh, ok, a gente agora. Cruz. Examinar. Crucificada, toda sozinha. O lugar que mudou tudo. Realmente não gostaria de estar aqui. Ok, crowbar. Sim, tá preso na cruz, óbvio. Hum, dá pra puxar? Então, bora. Morte? Será que ela é a morte, então? Susan, it's time to make a decision. Ai, caralho! The parasites are coming, whether you want it or not. You haven't really got much choice. You must stand up for yourself. Okay. Bora. Fine. I'll do what you want. Excellent. I'm glad you have put your trust in me. Caralho, voltamos. We're back in the house. Yes, but there is something else that must be done. You cannot leave my kingdom before a sacrifice is made. What? Isn't it enough already? Do not worry, my child. This is a mere formality I am speaking of. The door to your world won't open unless you make a sacrifice of soul What? and a sacrifice of blood. Só isso. Nada demais. Só It sangue a alma. Sound good at all. É. See those candles here? Hum. Tô vendo. Just blow one out and that's it. Like I said, it's just a formality. É. Só uma formalidade. Then só on your way sangue. out, you will have to shed a few drops of blood. Umas gotinhas. Not much. Just a bit. Enough to open the door. Bom, How much? De sangue? Exactly. Tá Don't boa. be afraid. It's easy. Anyone can do it. Just a sharp scratch. Is that how you used to say it? Ok. Então, bora, galera. A gente não tem o que fazer. Fine. I'll do that. Wish me luck, strange lady. I do. Okay. When you leave my house, head to the field. Ok. That's where you should be. Sim, senhora. Goodbye, my child. Bye, bye. I'm not going to be far. I've never been. E vamos escolher uma vela. Minha tataravó mandou escolher essa daqui. 
strange. The flame seems strong and steady, but there is no smoke. Estranho. Mas vamos lá. Quem é esse cara? Tá vendo aqui? They left me no choice, Alice. Ah, Maybe one é. day you'll forgive me. É. Me arrepiei aqui, caras. See how easy that was? Now, head back to the field. You've got a job to do, Susan. Ok. Bora. What the? Uh. How did I get back here? What? Tá. Vamos continuar. Essa musiquinha tá me deixando até mais tranquila. Sabe? Até que não é tão ruim assim. Sabe? Só uma gotinha de sangue. Só soprei aquela vela ali. Não parece ser nada muito complicado. Tranquila. Passando na floresta depois de ter feito um pactozinho da hora. Então bora. Até agora eu tô gostando bastante do jogo, galera. Eu gosto bastante mesmo. É muito melhor do que eu esperava. Que nem eu falei pra vocês, não é um gráfico top, não é isso que faz o jogo um jogo da hora. Na verdade, o que tá fazendo esse jogo foda mesmo, na verdade, é a história e, bom, toda essa temática obscura que tem aqui, né? Bora. Hum, a gente já esteve aqui, né? As tábuas. Aham, uhum, tá. Ela falou que não conseguiria puxar né, as tábuas por causa que não conseguiria com as próprias mãos. Beleza. Mas, agora eu tenho pé de cabra. Será que vai? Examinar. Ok. É escuro dentro. Todo esse sangue em volta do buraco. Alguém se machucou aqui? Alcançar lá dentro. Hum. Ai, caralho! Nossa! Umas gotinhas! Umas gotinhas... Porra! Que porra de gotinha é essa? Ela arrancou a porra do braço inteiro! What the fuck? Bora. Ah, não acredito, né? Nossa, meu. Olha. Eu não esperava isso mesmo. Foda pra caralho, hein? E olha a trilha sonora. Agora que eu não tome flag por causa dessa música aqui. Muito hora. Agora. Da hora, hein? Rock and roll, baby. Tá, o que aconteceu agora? <risos> que impressionante. Eu não sei o que esperar agora. Que que eu... Onde eu tô? Uou, que começo, hein? O primeiro episódio eu achei foda, agora eu tô gostando mais ainda. 
Isso, parece abertura de seriado. Oh, yeah. Hum. Terminamos o capítulo 1. Então, né? Óbvio. Começaremos o capítulo 2 agora. Hum. Second first breath. Yes, I do enjoy fine art. Thank you for noticing. There's a certain raw beauty to it that modern painters often fail to recreate. I always wanted to be an artist myself, but it'll be a long time before I can call myself that. I often say that patients are my canvas. But my job is more about restoration, obviously. I look at the damaged human minds and bring them back to their former beauty. Que profundo. I'm sorry, I'm probably boring you. No, it's not that. It's just... It's been a difficult couple of days. I'd really like to go home. Of course, and go home you will. As soon as we've done this little assessment, okay, you probably know how it works. I've read in your file you used to be a nurse. Yes, I know very well how it works. You want to check if I'm nuts. Well, I wouldn't use that expression, obviously. But yes, we have to make sure you're safe and figure out how to help you. Also, as a nurse yourself, you know there's always paperwork involved. These forms won't fill themselves. Mm -hmm. Honestly, Susan, you have nothing to worry about. This is just a formality. I could tell straight away that you are not nuts. Fine. Mm -hmm. What would you like to know? I will answer all your questions. Then I'll go home, take a long shower, and catch up on sleep. Wonderful. Let's see then. Where do we begin? Esse cara parece um psiquiatra. Deve ser psiquiatra dela. Mas não entendi como que surgiu nessa sala. Tá, e quem é essa mulher de azul agora? Oi. She's awake, doctor. Hmm. Good evening. Olá. It's good to see you awake at last. É, de boa. You're in the Cedar Lake Hospital. Hmm, bom saber. My name is Andrew. I'm one of the doctors. Prazer. Would you confirm your name for me, please? Sim, senhor. Sou Susan Ashworth. Susan Ashworth. Hello, Mrs. Ashworth. I'm glad to see you're all right. You're on the ward now. Your condition is stable. I can see your brain functions just fine and there's no permanent damage of any sort. Hmm. We've checked your internal organs and they're fine too. You're a very lucky lady, Susan. You might experience extreme tiredness and lethargy for a couple of days, but that should soon pass. I would advise plenty of rest now. The nurses on this ward will take it from here. Please let them know if you need anything. Take care, Mrs. Ashworth. Okay. Please don't try to speak. Por quê? What did you say? Por quê? Don't worry, Mrs. Ashworth. Your arm is fine. No, no, no. There was nothing wrong with your arm, darling. Now calm down. Não tem nada de errado com meu braço. Como assim? Meu braço foi cortado fora. Would you like me to get you some water? Let me get you a drink. I'll be back in a second. Será que tudo aconteceu na cabeça da Susan? Hmm. As coisas estão ficando cada vez mais estranhas. Susan, did I wake you? I have to take your blood pressure. Two seconds and I'm gone. My name is Liz, by the way. Hi. Tá, tá, foda-se. I'm sorry. I know this isn't very nice. Believe me, I hate waking people up just for this. But being a nuisance is part of my stupid job, unfortunately. Oof, I hate this place. Tá, eu sou hétero, fia, não adianta. Não quero Tell you what, você. Susan. Can I call you Susan? So anyway, I shouldn't say it, but you know I'm going to anyway. You are so lucky. It's crazy. Sortuda, eu, you, tá. doing what you've done, and her, walking in, seeing what she saw, Ela that was quem? a chance. One in a million. I'm not making any sense again, am I? 
I'm tired. They're working us to death here, you know. Modern day slavery. One day I'll tell them what I really think. I swear I will. Ah, and here it is. You've got the blood pressure of an 18 year old. Parabéns para mim. Just wanted to say you're lucky, I think. And that I hope you've changed your mind about some things. Got to go, but I'll see you later. You take care, sweetheart, yeah? Não me chama de sweetheart, não sou porra nenhuma sua. Sai daqui, mulher. Não curto mulheres. Se vá. Ok. Novo dia. Vai! Hum. Mexeu sozinho! Poltergeist! Que isso? Ah! What? Como assim? Ok. Como se não tivesse bizarro o suficiente as coisas, né? Tinha que piorar um tiquinho. Bad dream. Hum, que pesadelo. Tá, vou falar que eu tive yeah, isso. Yeah, a really bad one. I knew it. I could see as soon as I came in the room that you were having a nightmare. I guess I shouldn't have woken you up. Hmm. Você falou antes, filha. What was it about? Tá, tá, eu fiquei mal vivo. I was burnt alive. Actually, it reminds me of something that happened the other day. There was this woman on the emergency unit, and she really wanted to smoke, you know? But they wouldn't let her, of course. She wasn't hmm. well at all. Not just injured, but not right in the head. She was on 10 liters of oxygen through the face mask. Hmm. She had to stay in bed, she was told. But she wouldn't listen, of course. And as soon as they'd left, she lit up a fag. The whole room went up in flames. And so did she. Eita. I guess you didn't really want to know that, did you? That's just me and my big gob. Typical. Yeah. I never know when to shut up. No, não sabe mesmo. Você fala pra caralho. Eu não quero saber teu nome. Foda-se teu nome. What? Happened o que aconteceu comigo? Well, how much do you remember? I I took some pills ah. and I fell asleep in the sim, chair. Sim, 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 sim. I remember how the room kept spinning around me slowly. Isso, I isso. felt so calm and then Tá, eu não vou falar que com que eu tive no meio de um campo, que encontrei com uma senhora, que fiz um pacto. Daí, né, eles não vão me deixar sair daqui nunca, né? Isso aqui é uma ala provavelmente psiquiátrica que eu tô, né? Porque eu tentei me matar. Então eu vou falar que eu simplesmente acordei e vi ela aqui. aqui. E eu vi você. Você pode agora me dizer quem me encontrou e o que aconteceu? Well, your body went into a coma. You were lucky she came home and found you. I told you that before. What? Ela? Who found me? Your daughter, of course. She called an ambulance. If it wasn't for her, you would sure be dead now, Susan. My daughter. <laughs> Como yes. assim, filha? Why? Why do you look so pale all of a sudden, Susan? I don't have a daughter. Whoever she is, she lied. But why would she do that? How should I know? I was in a coma, apparently. So she lied? It doesn't change the fact that you owe her your life. I was fine. I didn't ask for any help. Yep. Sorry. Tá. Quero saber quanto tempo How long have I been here? I was told you arrived at the hospital at seven in the evening. You had a cardiac arrest in the ambulance. They had Nossa. to resuscitate you. Your heart stopped beating for nearly a minute. But they managed to bring you back. You went to the intensive care unit where they gave you a dose of antidote and pumped your stomach. As soon as your condition was stable, they brought you on this ward. It's called Dime Ward. Falei. I call it Die Ward. Because all the patients who come here want to die. It's a suicide watch unit. Que falei. That's why it's so strict. You have to be careful. Nurses here are trigger happy with the sedatives. Pois é, que nem eu falei. Se ela tentou se matar, provavelmente ela foi colocada no hospital na ala psiquiátrica. When will they let me go home? I'm not sure. Probably not today. Maybe tomorrow. Look, 
I shouldn't say that, but you seem like a nice person. I feel like I should warn you. There's this doctor here. They call him Dr. X. Uh, he's the I... chief of psychiatry in this hospital. You won't be able to go home until X he's me? talked to you. And he... He's really good at getting into your head. See, sí, You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He claro. will ask you yeah, a lot of me. tricky questions. But he's a really great guy. You should Perfector. trust him. Xavier. Quero saber mais sobre o Dr. X, no caso, que é Professor X, e tem uma versão doutor aqui. Tell me more about this Dr. X. His name is Xavier Zellman. Xavier. But everyone just calls him Dr. X. He comes on the ward <laughs> often, usually late in the afternoon or in the evening. I personally really like him. But you hear all sorts of stories in a place like this, you know. I don't know what to believe anymore. Hmm. All I know is he's been very friendly and supportive. Some doctors won't even say hello to you. But Dr. X usually stops and asks how I am. He knows I have some... problems. He can see I'm not happy here. He actually offered me some free weekly sessions. I think I might take him up on his offer. Hmm. What are they saying about him? Oh yeah, they say he's a big flirt. Hmm. Nurses, cleaners, patients. He doesn't care. As long as they're wearing a skirt. One girl I knew. Linda. I heard they had an affair. Stupid girl. Stupid girl. Well, she left. And I never saw her again. Now, why do you think that is? Dr. X got her knocked up. They covered it up and quietly got rid of her. Probably paid her some money. Uh -huh. I don't know how these things work, é. but it must have been enough Pagou to shut her up. Um I bet he'll be more careful now. But I can't really say a bad word about him, personally. Well, one thing, maybe. Don't laugh, okay? Strange. He's got a weird smell. What Cheiro. do you mean? He smells funny. I don't know. Maybe it's just bad aftershave. Or maybe it's something he eats. Um cheiro estranho. Oh. Thanks for the warning. I'll try not to get too close to him. Now that I think about it, there's something else too. Nossa, I'll mais. This, Susan. He starts talking to you and you just open up and tell him everything. It's very odd. I don't exactly hide things from people, but he got some really private stuff out of me. Really private. You know what I mean? Things I wouldn't tell my mother about. And we haven't even started those sessions yet. So, be prepared for that. Sure. But it's a bit too late for me to hide how I feel now anyway. <laughs> I think I made it very clear when I swallowed those pills. Toda vez que eu vejo alguma coisa sobre, né, assassinar alguém ou mandar apagar, eu lembro do filme O Ditador com Sacha Baron Cohen, né? Se vocês não assistiram, assistam, é muito engraçado. Bom, uh, quero saber sobre essa Did filha. Did you see this daughter of mine? No, sorry, Susan. Apparently, she came in the ambulance with you. But then she remembered something and had to go. I think someone mentioned she went in quite a hurry. Of course she did. She was worried I'd ask her what she was doing in my flat. Um, saving your life? Ah, mas é uma completa estranha, né? Do I really have to give her a benefit of the doubt just because of that? One would assume that... so. That girl is a hero. Maybe real heroes always leave before their identity is revealed. Hmm. Or she was a burglar attempting to steal from me. Hmm. hmm. That's a possibility too. Have you got anything very precious in your flat? Tem? Maybe. Talvez. Bom. Não quero saber mais nada sobre ela. Já descobri o que eu queria saber sobre o Dr. X, então I'm deixa o saco dormir. Let me sleep now. Fine. I'll see you again. Be careful who you trust here, Susan. They will be watching you. How do I know you're not one of them? Pois é. You don't. But do I really look demais. like a bad person to you? I... I don't know. Maybe not. I'll see you tonight. <sighs> Remember what I said. Dreams are just dreams. But when they turn into nightmares, it's good to have someone there to pinch your arm and wake you up. Right? Hmm. Yeah. 
voltamos aqui, né? We'll start with a little chat about your childhood. I want you to be as honest as possible. Right. It's important if we want to get to the bottom of your problem. Count to ten and tell me when you're ready, Susan. Okay, tô pronta pra falar. This isn't all about whether you're nuts or not, like we said before. It's about finding what has caused how you're feeling now and creating a working solution. Mm -hmm. In order to achieve that, I need to get to know you better. Can ah. we talk about your childhood first? Tá, pode ser. Your parents. When you're a child, your life revolves around them. What was your father like? Did you have a good relationship with him? Nossa, que da hora! A gente tem como escolher agora como foi a nossa infância. Tem três opções aqui. Bom, falar que eu tive um ótimo pai. Sim, eu tive um bom pai. Eu tenho muito fondas memórias do meu pai. Ele sempre estava lá para mim. Não importa o que eu fiz, ele nunca ficou angriado ou desesperado. Eu acho que eu nunca realmente lhe dei muitas razões para ser. Eu era um bom filho. Não perfeito. Mas... Then again, no one's perfect. Whatever made me try to kill myself, it definitely has nothing to do with him. Where is he now? He died six years ago. Cancer. Triste. Nossa, que triste. Do you miss him? Of course I miss him. How can you even ask me that? It's my job to ask these questions, Susan. Let's talk about your mother now. What was she like? Would you care to tell me about her? Eu tô me sentindo numa sessão psiquiátrica agora. Tá. Ela foi uma mãe horrível. She never cared about me. All that mattered to her was the booze and never me. What I remember clearly from my early years is the image of her sitting by the window. Nossa, o jogo She'd tá mexendo comigo. She for hours, smoking. My dad saw it all, of course, but he was unable to do anything about it. I think he just loved her too much to do anything. They argued a lot. Their fights always take place behind closed doors. It's one way of protecting the child from it all. But children always know. At least I did. I remember every time they fought, I tried so hard to just go to sleep. But sleep never came. No matter how hard I tried not to listen, I couldn't stop. I just couldn't. Okay, I'm beginning to get a better picture. That's enough about your parents for now. Let's take two minutes and we will talk about something else. Mm -hmm. I need to get out of this place. I hate hospitals. Besides, I really want to go home and forget all about this. Bom, já deu tempo de vídeo aqui. Nossa, esse jogo é muito mais complexo, muito mais profundo e muito mais cheio de história do que eu imaginava. Tem muito mais opções e falas e coisas que podem acontecer. Eu tô realmente intrigada e muito ansiosa pra saber o que vai acontecer com a Susan. E pra saber também o desenrolar daquela história, daquele pacto que a gente fez. E é isso aí, caras. É, é claro que traduzir dá bastante trabalho, eu também conto com o apoio de vocês. E é isso aí, se gostaram do vídeo, não esquece do like, do favorito, que ajuda bastante na divulgação. E até a próxima.